groups at the polling, what we now call high church Christianity groups, have cast out in various her heresy uh, uh, um, 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 determinations. That these are heretical groups. You know, Vatican councils and others from 300 onwards were constantly labeling other groups her heretics, as you may or may not know, and throwing out different groups of people. Well, one of the big groups, as Al and others who've taken other classes of mine will tell you, that were thrown out were a group called the Ebionites. Later on, by the way, all this fuss over the Da Vinci Code and everything else, so later in the Middle Ages you get the Templars thrown out, or the Albigensians in southern France, or, or, um, and they're following a heresy supposedly, um, what's that heresy called in southern France? Um, any of you know the name of it? Uh, uh, Arianism, I think it's called. Uh, but in any case, the uh, uh, earlier heresy that was, you know, uh, Damien, uh, look, Crusader armies wiped out vast communities in southern France. In other words, they thought that they could kill people because of this. Still going on in the Muslim world. They go out there in Afghanistan and blow up Buddhist uh, statues. Beautiful artworks that are like, been there for, uh, you know, 2,000 or 100 or 1,000 years or so. Just blow them up in one day. These are pagan, these are idolaters, gone. Uh, you know, so people feel they have a right to do that. Including murdering people. Uh, I don't think anyone has that right to do, and that's what I think constitutions protect. We'll see how far, the, I mean, George Bush's efforts in Iraq, I believe, are noble, even though I think he's gone about it in a ridiculous way, and he's a dope, and he's a jerk. But I do believe the ambition is, uh, is a noble one, and uh, even though I'm not sure what his reasons behind were, but the idea of a constitution in some of these places is a noble idea to protect people's rights. Now, maybe that's not what's going to develop, and you can say, oh, it's just fake and all that. All right, I, 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 I take your point. I'm not saying that the motives were noble, just the idea is a noble one. Uh, I don't know what his motives are, and I don't know what his motives in Louisiana are. I have no idea. I can't judge these people. I don't, I don't know. But just the idea of, of, of trying to protect people's rights for the Constitution, in my mind, is one of the most noble things you can do. Uh, anyway, the Ebionites were a Jewish Christian group called that because in Hebrew the word Ebion means poor, called the poor. By the way, the people they wiped out in southern France also called themselves the poor ones, interestingly enough. And uh, of course, some of the Crusader groups by the 1000 AD were calling themselves the poor ones for Christ. Uh, there was the uh, uh, Children's Crusade and other groups of uh, poor ones, you know, take about poverty. There, there's a lot of connections here. So these Ebionites are a very early group. And I, I and the Dead Sea Scrolls that I work on are very Ebionite. They call themselves in the Dead Sea Scroll poor ones. One was poor Ebion. Yeah, Ebion means poor. So they call themselves poor in the Dead Sea Scrolls. They actually use the word Ebion repeatedly. Don't they, Mr. Paris? Yeah. I mean, I don't know how you can take a literature of people calling themselves uh, poor, Ebion, and then say it's not Ebionite. <laughs> to me, it's uh, in my field, uh, you never hear one word that these people in the Dead Sea Scrolls are Ebionites. <laughs> but uh, it seems to me just uh, like standing right out on the surface. So I think Muhammad is, these are refugee groups that I think penetrated Southern Arabia, Jewish, Christian, intermediary groups, or in, penetrated Arabia. These would be the groups that would be in contact, and the Ebionites disliked Paul. They rejected him as the Antichrist. They said that uh, Jesus was not born by uh, miraculous, uh, you know, immaculate conception. He was generated in the normal way like any other uh, human being. That he was only advanced among other human beings by his practice of righteousness. There was no supernatural aspects to the whole thing and his practice of the Torah of Moses and so on. So they were a group in between Judaism and Christianity. I think they are the original Christians from Palestine, frankly. I think that's what they really are. I think that's what Christianity originally was before it went, this is very complicated, overseas. As I told you early in this course, poetry is truer than history. So what people think happened is more important than what really did happen. I said that last night, didn't I? So that, that, that's true in every sense. So nobody knows this history. No one has uh, tried to tell people this history. 
that's the meaning the Dead Sea Scrolls really have to uncover an intermediate situation that now we have documents that actually tell us about that intermediate situation. And since these uh, documents are talking about Ebion all the time, to my mind, they're Ebionite doc doc documents. But they're not the way Ebionites are portrayed by their enemies. In any event, however this may be, the point is 